Gatton for Severe MMA here at Bama 24 in the three arena standing alongside a victorious Sean Tobin. Sean, I heard you say as you came into the press room there, you didn't really get to so show the striking side of you in this fight. A little disappointed yeah. immediately after. Yeah, I mean, my whole training camp that I just put in the last eight weeks, I brought in quality kickboxers, boxers to train with. I already have my wrestling game there. So I brought in individuals in, in, their, in, their, in their fields. And I spared them in boxing and kickboxing. So I put in a load of extra work on my striking. So I was, I wouldn't say I had a game plan, but I was looking forward to coming out and showing something different than what everybody already knows I do is like, like the wrestling. So I just wanted to show some new tools as well. A good performance against a veteran of Irish MMA, a guy who's been around a long time. But, but I wanted to ask yesterday at the Wayne's, you seemed particularly drawn out. I've seen Wayne videos before. Was it a harder cut yesterday? Uh, yeah. Um, Everything was going to plan. I think just the last couple of pounds was tough, um, and I think I'm used to getting off the, getting out of the salt bath and then weighing in pretty quickly. So like I was on weight at maybe one o'clock, and then we had to wait around till say four o'clock with all the give us a bigger show. So there's loads of stuff involved. So I think just hanging around on that weight took a lot more out of me. Like you know, as these last two fights, some people have noticed me at the weigh-ins that uh, I haven't looked in tip-top shape. You know what I mean? Like I'm drawn out. Do you think that carried into your performance tonight? I know you're, you're breathing a little bit heavy, I know it's just after yeah. the fight, but would you rather come out of the, these fights a lot fresher? I think finish? so. Like, Gary was a good opponent there. I think I was, I was on top a lot. A um, couple of ground tra transitions there. I think uh, I could feel my arms going a little earlier than they should. I think I could be down to the weight cut. Like, um, to be honest, I'm thinking of going back up to featherweight. You know, I, I never... Still trying to remember the whole reason I went down to Bantam in the first place. You know, I was never, I was never really out, out strengthened or beat or there was no one ever really stronger than me at my weight at featherweight so I think at the time I was thinking maybe if I go down to the band and weight I might get guys my height or but they're all still taller than me so I think uh, featherweight could be calling my name there's a couple of interesting fights out there for me you know yeah so just before the finish as well and um, something that I don't think we see enough of in MMA it seemed like we were angling for north side choke I one yeah. time I had the arm under the head and thinking he's been wrestling yeah he has the, the Schultz influence here we're gonna see That's a head and arm choke I don't like to give away my uh, secrets, but that's my favourite choke, you know, the north-south choke, or bringing that into a dark choke again. That's all from Ryan Schultz, wrestling, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there are the tools he's given me, and I think with him behind me, I can, I can beat any guy God ever made, you know. So, um, north-south, dark choke, they're all my good chokes. And I thought I had it. Um, he was fighting through it well, I think. The 10 second clangor kind of gave me a bit of motivation, maybe to fight on through it, but uh, uh, eventually got the north-south order, we're going to so. Happy days. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. I'd just like to say thanks to my sponsors at uh, FightStorePro.e for looking after me with all this cool gear. I really appreciate the support. Yellow though. Yellow and white. That's uh, something different. <laughs> thanks thanks very much. I appreciate the time.